one of the advances of technology is it adds a scaffold for pupil learning so that their technical inabilities don't prevent them from seeing the bigger conceptual ideas. So a simple example of this is uh, year eight, so that's 12, 13 year olds. Uh, we wanted them to see that, investigate and find out for themselves um, using this worksheet here, which they can download from the internet. So they've just done an introduction using this great national virtual library of manipulatives from the US um, to refresh their memories. And then we've moved on to this worksheet, which is then reminding themselves about the, the properties of reflections, rotations. And this is Simon saying, when I reflect any shape in a vertical line, then I reflect the image in any horizontal line. This is always the same as a single transfer, as a single transformation involving a rotation. Is this true? If it's wrong, say why. If it's correct, try and prove it and investigate other reflections. So that's the investigation that they can then discover for the next half an hour. And this is the beauty of it. So first of all, they'd need to put any equation, any vertical line. And so we've got a whole discussion all about, you know, well, how do you, how do you make a vertical line, do you remember? Um, and obviously some won't. And then how do you make a horizontal line? Do you remember the equation of a horizontal line? And also the discussion about why we need to define um, lines in, in relation to mirrors. And then I want to reflect it. And again, you'd have students who make mistakes. So the great advantage of autograph, you've got the pen tool over here. We can go, okay, we've got this vertical line. Yeah, you can have different ones. Um, where do you think that shape would get reflected to? Up they come to the board, I pass the graphics tablet around the room, uh, and they draw on their, their, their proposals, and, and they might propose this, and it's wrong. Um, but we don't say that, we let them draw away. And we ask the rest of the class, maybe with many whiteboards in their hands, hands up if you agree or if you disagree. Um, great, so then I can see everyone's participating, that's what I like about mini whiteboards. Just, um, and there I'm talking just about a normal uh, whiteboard with a pen. Agree, disagree, okay, if, if I have a majority that disagree, up they come, draw another one. And then, okay, when we've all decided that, we can then test. So if I click on the object, click shift, and the mirror line, and then I get the reflection option. So, ah, yeah, it was wrong, okay. Same thing again, okay, we're now going to reflect this one, but in the in the horizontal line, what do we think? Again, they get the pen tool, they have a, they have a guess. Um, and again, you can always choose the weaker students if they volunteer, I try. Uh, a, it gets them used to not minding making mistakes, and if they volunteer, they don't. And it gets them involved and engaged so they don't start switching off, because they might just enjoy coming up to the board, even if they don't enjoy the maths all the time. And slowly but surely, they'll make the link between the two, hopefully. So click on here, click on there, and again, reflect. And there we go, great, he was right. Oh, it was a bit out on the triangle, it wasn't as long as it needs to be, it needs to be four squares. So the idea was right, the position was right, but the shape had changed, and it doesn't change the shape in the reflection. Uh, and, you know, a student might have made loads of mistakes doing that first reflection, doing that second reflection, and technology allows them to do that. Get over those hurdles of technical to now see, is the blue to the red the same as some form of rotation? And again, they've got all the technical problems of rotation. So it just allows you to get much further in a shorter time. I put the point there, if I get the cursor, I want a cursor point here, and I'm just going to drag it exactly into place. You can have snap settings on from the edit axis menu, snap settings, and then it will snap the whole units, so I, I don't have those on. Select the shape you want, select the center of rotation, again holding down the control key or the shift key, I'm going to rotate it. And I've got this setting in degrees. You can set it in radians when it's advanced level. There's the radians one. I've got it set in degrees because this is year eight. They don't know radians yet in the in the sort of uh, American English system. I don't think in the French or the Spanish either. I'm going to put guess at 180 degrees. Okay. And oh, sure enough, it's changed color. And I've also got the construction lines on there. And then I've got a discussion about why why doesn't that look like a circle? Because surely a rotation should be a circle, and it's something to do with equal aspect mode. And what does equal aspect mode? Just loads of discussion. The scribble tool allows for loads of contemplation and uh, further discussion and trial and testing and hypothesizing. And if you've got an interactive whiteboard, our students also have it on their computers. They can cut and paste it in and do this themselves. You know, I could say before I do this, okay, you've got five minutes. I want you, there's the shape. You've got the same image. They've got it saved on their laptop, an internet link from the internet page. Uh, draw what you think is going to happen. Everyone's got their thing. I check everyone's got it before we start, and then we see as a class, are we right? Yeah. Testing. 
getting further otherwise would do uh, speed of working. Many those are some of the advantages of technology.